Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching, my name is Aina Cole. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out the Venice Fling Palette. It is a State Cosmetics times Bailey Sarian. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch it because I did not swatch it in the Ipsy video. This was received from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Here. Ugh. Alright, so here are all the shades in the palette. There is one here. This one, it doesn't really, it shows up better on the camera than it does on me in person. Like it really looks like nothing on my arm right now. But all in all, um... The shades feel nice to the touch. Um, seems like they should blend out really nicely. Now Bailey did do her own video on this palette. And she, I actually, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. But I did see clips and she was like crying because she's so happy that she finally got to do a collab with a brand. Um, if you don't know who she is, she's a fellow YouTuber. Um, she tells stories while she does her makeup, which is honestly interesting. Um, a lot of the stories are um, like murder stories or mysteries and things like that. Um, and I don't know. She's a very good storyteller. She's good at what she does. So um, if you haven't watched her, you should probably, you know, check her out. Um, but anyway, she was really excited about this collab. Um, and then since I did get this from a subscription box, um, I'm going to go ahead and try out a few more products that I received from subscription boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a couple products that I used before. Um, but for, for my face, I start out with my daily hydration moisturizer. I went ahead and tried the Too Faced Pillow Talk. No, Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. Um, this is my first time using that. Um, I used my Too Faced Peach Perfect. And then I used a combo of my... Born This Way Super Coverage and my Radiant, what is this again? Naturally Radiant Concealer. So I used a combo. Um, this one, I should have gotten this a shade lighter, a shade or two lighter than what I did. Um, it's like the same exact shade as my foundation, which isn't bad. Um, it also has a slight undertone, um, whereas this one is neutral. So, um... My foundation is a natural beige, and for whatever reason, they said I matched the warm beige when I bought this. So I just got that in my box in the same shade, and I should have gotten a slightly different shade. But it's okay. I mean, it works. I can make it work. Um, I'm also going to use my Huda lipstick and my Ciate London Triple Shot Mascara. Um, to set my face today, I used my Ciate London Extraordinary Powder. So, I mean, we're keeping things in the family. Um, brows, I use my Wander Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. Um, I don't think that's going to change until I run out of it. So, um, yeah. Let's get started. So, um, obviously, there is a perfect shade for my crease. And that is this shade here, which is called Tan Lines. Just a neutral brown. So the one thing I forgot that I wanted to see, look, I do this, this is sitting right in front of me. So this is the eyeshadow primer. Um, I was planning on using that, but I went ahead and already put the eyeshadow on my eye. So we're just going to skip that and we'll do that another day. I, I just, it's like, I don't think about using eyeshadow primers because I never do. I also didn't receive an eyeliner, so um, I think this is my Better Than Sex. Yeah, I'm just going to pop on my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because it's sitting in front of me. I mean, not mascara. Eyeliner. That's if I do an eyeliner, I may just end up using Venice Fling, but it is a shimmer. So I don't really want a shimmer for my eyeliner. I'll decide that when I get there. Now 
Now the shades in this palette are very much like a sunset, so I don't know. I mean, there's really, there's more shimmers in here than there are mattes, which is fine, it's fine. Um, but I think just to go ahead and deepen the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Rose Tattoo. I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner using my lavish pencil brush. I think I named the wrong shade and I honestly put the rose tattoo on my outer corner. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that with Toasty too, which is the brown shade right below it. That's the problem with holding the palette upside down. I read the shade for this one, but I'm just gonna mix these two together. These two. If I can actually show them to you. So I don't know where any of my blending brushes are right now. So I'm just going to use this one. Um, this is a tart, like, double-edged brush, so this is more like a blending brush. It's nice and fluffy. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend those colors together more and blend them over towards the middle a little more. Okay. So that has been applied. Um, I took it up a little higher than I normally do. I don't know. My, I feel like a lot of people have a lot of space up here and like I feel like I don't have any and I feel like it doesn't look right if I bring my eyeshadow up here. I don't know. I think it's just in my head but I always think it looks funny if it goes like above my eyelid. So that's why you never really see me do that. Um, but we're going to try today. We're going to try. I really don't know where I'm going at all. I just always pick the darker looking shades and put them on the outer corner. So yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't at all. So I feel like I really, really, really want to use this purple and I really want to use this gold shade in my inner corner. So I feel like I'm going to incorporate this purple on the lid somewhere, but there's really no other shades in here that go with it. So it's kind of like a standalone color. So right now I'm thinking I may just copy the colors that are on the outer corner on the inner corner and then um, put the purple in the middle or... I'm going to go with the slightly lighter shade on the inner corner. I just, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, I don't know where these people are getting my phone number from. I keep getting like a bunch of like spam text messages from people that are like, I don't know, just saying ridiculous things. I don't know where they're getting my information from, but it's really annoying and I really wish they would just stop. Anyways, um, I don't know guys, I don't know, I don't know, I mean I like, I really like the shades in this palette, but um, it goes against my normal methods of working, like the way that I normally do things is just not going to work with this palette, so I think I am going to go ahead and put Bonfire on in the inner corner, well not the inner corner, the inner part of the lid and see what that does for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like a non-existent color, which is kind of what I thought. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put Rose Tattoo on and then top it with this shade um, just to make it a little lighter than the outer side. 
So again, we use the um, brown to darken the outer side. I might honestly apply a little bit more of the brown just on the outer corner and not blend it up. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna say screw it and I'm going to put Rose Tattoo on the entire lid um, and then I may go ahead and use this in the middle just so that that purple can really pack on there and really pop in the middle of the lid. So let's go ahead and just, you know, pop this on the whole lid. And then we're gonna mix in the brown and the lighter color to make them a little different than each other so it's not exactly the same all the way across. But let me do this and stop rambling. Cause it's really not doing any, it's not doing much of anything. I honestly think the red is darker, but the red is definitely overpowering the brown. So we're just not gonna do that. So let's go ahead and grab another brush and take this lighter color and pop that in here, which is probably, it, oh yeah, oh, it is doing something. It's doing more than the brown did. So that's good. Yep, it's doing what I wanted to do. So it's making it like slightly lighter on the inner corner, on the inner part of the eyelid. I keep saying the inner corner. And I just took that color to about right here on each side. So it's really not like a lot, but it's doing something. So um, I really like all the shimmers in this palette. Let me see. Where the heck, there it is. It's like, where'd the brush I just had go? Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this here, which is Puppy Love. It seriously, it looks way more, it looks more burgundy here in person than it does on camera. I'm just going to pop that up here. And I did just place that on the very outer corner. It is a little bit deeper than the red. So it just, that was just a hint of depth to me anyway. It might not look like it on camera, but in person it does look like it added some depth, okay? Um, all right. So I'm putting the tiniest, tiniest amount in the very center of the lid. On both lids and then we're gonna pop some of that purple on. And I'm just doing this so that it really sticks and really pops. And this may not look right, but I'm going for it anyway. Because we want to be adventurous today, okay? All right, okay. So 
the brush isn't picking that much product up so I am just going to try to wet the brush with some setting spray and see if we get some better results. And we did. Okay, so I'm just grabbing two more just standard old eyeshadow brushes and I'm going to use the same method to apply Puppy Love so to the outer part of the lid and then I am going to put Bonfire on the middle part so And the same method is just the wet brush method. I'm not going to do more of the primer. Okay, so my camera stopped recording at some point, um, but I believe the last place you saw me doing anything was when I was putting Puppy Love on the outer corner. So I just did the wet brush method, like I said I was going to do, and then just put this on the inner corner. So now we're done um, with those shades. So the upper lid is done. I don't know what I did there, but um, the purple gives a nice pop of color. So that's what I wanted. All right, so I did, um, actually blend the shimmers together a little bit. So I brought the red over into the purple and brought the Ocean Avenue. And I don't think I ever said the shade name, the Ocean Avenue over into the purple a little bit. And then I blended them back together a little bit. Um, so all the colors kind of have like a seamless blend on the upper lid. Um, so then on the lower lash line, I think, 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 I think I'm just going to run um, Rose Tattoo on the lower lash line and see how that looks and go from there. No, I know that I definitely don't want to do, I don't really want to do the purple on the bottom. I think I'm just going to do Ocean Ave over top of the red on the lower lash line. Just to give it a little more subtle. Alright, so again, I'm going to do Soul, which is the yellow on the inner corner, and I'm just going to use this little brush here. My eyelashes would start to go funky after I already did all the eyeshadow.
Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know. Do I have another liner brush? I feel like I had three liner brushes, and now that I want another one, I don't see one. So I definitely want to do a liner. I think I am going to try just to use the eyeshadow. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to use a shimmer on top of a shimmer on top of a shimmer and run this Venice fling on my upper lash line and see how that goes and hopefully it doesn't mess everything up. Okay, so it did work as intended. Um, it's definitely more of a subtle because it is a shimmer. I did have to wet the brush, um, but honestly, it looks exactly how I want it to. I feel like if I use a liquid eyeliner, it's going to be too dark and it's going to take away from the colors that I put down before it. So I think I'm going to stick with this and we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So now, now I'm done with the eyeshadow. I think I like it. I think the colors work well together. They blend out really nice and easily. So that's always nice. And again, we're going in with the Ciate London Triple Shot Double XL Mascara. And I did show the wand in my Glam Bag Plus video. Here it is again. recap the mascara definitely did something the wand is definitely really good on the top lashes it was not my favorite for the bottom lashes but it did something so that's really all that matters right okay so on to blush and highlight so for blush today I just grabbed my phase zero cotton candy blusher um, I know this is getting close to the expiration date and I didn't give it enough love so we're just gonna go ahead and use this today and I'm just going to apply it with this NYX makeup brush that has foundation all over it. Because, you know, that's what's right here. Okay, so now for highlight, we are going to go ahead and use Wander Beauty's Wanderless Glow in the shade After Hours. And I have used this numerous times before. Maybe not always in a video, but I have used this more than once. Okay. So then, lastly, the last thing we have to do besides set our face is apply some lipstick. And I definitely want to be a little bit more adventurous with the eyeshadow because this is a nude lip. Okay. So that is definitely a nice, creamy consistency for a liquid lip goes on really easily this is just one layer so I don't know I do like the shade <laughs> we'll definitely be using it again um, but we're just going to set our face with our all-nighter setting spray and 
and this is the look guys so um yeah everything i used today even the stuff that i tried new was decent um i can't really say anything about this i mean i really didn't need it a lot um but it did make the purple look better but i did have to also wet the brush to make it really show up but that's just i think that's just how the formula is which is a-okay you know sometimes you have to do that it's all good um i do definitely like the palette um i mean it makes it really it makes me think because i don't think outside the box ever so i'm um, to come up with a look using a palette that doesn't have shades that definitely go hand in hand i mean there is some but then i would have just been doing a basic look and i really didn't want to do that today so um i hope you guys like this look i don't know i mean it's not super adventurous but i threw some purple in there <laughs> um yeah that's really all i have so if you do like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos. Um, I do plan on doing more just more focused videos on eyeshadow palettes um, where I'll be using products I've used before. So today, you know, I had all my boxes and I was just like, you know what, this came out of a box. Let's just throw some more stuff in there. But they are going to be primarily focused on the actual palettes. Um, and the majority of the video will be, will be the palettes and then I will just throw on, you know, some random lip, cheek items and, you know, just keep it going. So, um, more than likely my face, well, my face will be done and then we'll just do the eyeshadow, just pop some other things on the face and then we'll be done. So I'm trying to keep these shorter, simpler to the point. I do plan on doing a few, um, wear tests. I didn't grab a new foundation. A newer foundation um and then i have a box box of allura mercier setting powder so i do want to do a full day wear test with those um the powder obviously i have to use a foundation that i know and i trust so that i can really you know tell you if the powder is good which i have heard wonderful things but i am so excited to try that i plan on doing that this weekend um but that yeah i'm sorry i'm rambling again and that is all i have for this video so again um thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one and i hope you have a good day bye now